are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. I am covered in sin, Abba. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Worship the God that sees us. Hey, Arabohoti Kenya. Zenebehen ne kolosha. Ladi bando koto naba. Leki na ya bara bara bashara. Rakoto malide ya naba naba. Rakoto bara bara bara. Rakadi shabade lekade hiana dabade sukola rabada koshade de rabada bala bala basha rakade de bele sokota akabado ya erenebia ishakoto ba radabera akala bala ba akurasi ishanabala rakina ba itala 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 rakibadasha elabiana rabada rakoto the lord is working the lord is working amongst his people the lord is working the lord is working rakadabia ishabana atabe the deliverer is working the savior is working the healer is working rakadabia rabiana ishakata alabiana Rakabana, Rakatona, Rakosha, Rabia, Ranibia, Lakoto, Rabiana, Rakasi, Ilata, 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 Rakinabia, Ramianama, and Shobada, and Korade, and Lata, and Rabiana, and Rakoto, and Rabia, and Koto, Lata, Lata, Rabiana, 
Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Change what only you can change. Rewrite what only you can rewrite. Amiaba, Rakoto, Rabia. Nothing will escape. Nothing will escape. Nothing will escape. Ratibia, Rabiana, Rekoso, Rabaya, Ekoto, and Labia, Esana, and Lako. Rata, 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 Ekolani, Rabia. Let your aim at on the louder. Thank you, Father. Let me be on a Baba Shira for our lives will never remain the same again. Thank you, Jesus. The God that sees us, the God that sees us, Chai, Chai, the God that sees us. Be magnified, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Be magnified, oh God. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Somebody help me celebrate Jesus. There's no... I, 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 I don't know what to say. But people of God, God is here. I don't even know what to say. But to God be all the glory. Just help me wave your hands again. Jesus, be magnified, oh God. You deserve all the worship. Hallelujah. Would you help me open your scriptures to the book of Luke chapter 15? The book of Luke chapter 15. Glory to God. Read the book of Luke chapter 15. And we'll start reading from verse 11 to verse 32. Glory to God. Somebody shall say it is done. Scream it louder again like humanity. It is done. Like it is the custom of this house for us to rise for the reading of God's word wherever you are. Rise on your feet. At the count of three, I'll just say something very simple. Just take it and run with it. Take it and run with it. Take it and run with it. Glory to God. At the count of three, can we read together? One, two, three. And he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that followed to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he had music and dancing. And 
and he had called one of the servants and asked what these things meant and he said unto him thy brother is come and thy father had killed the fatted calf because he had received him safe and sound and he was angry and would not go in therefore came his father out and entreated him and he answering said to his father lo these many years do i serve thee neither transgressed i at any time thy commandment and yet thou never givest me a kid that i might make merry with my friends but as soon as this thy son was come which had devoured thy living with the harlots thou hast killed for him the fatted calf and he has and said unto him son thou art ever with me and all that i have is thine it was meet that we should be merry and be glad for these thy brother was dead and his alive again was lost and is found our father we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us father we ask let there be none of any man but all of you father we thank you let a lover of the lord thunder a louder amen. amen lift up your right hand and thunder say it is done for the second time declare it is done for the third time thunder it is done before you take your seat help me walk to three persons tell them it is done it is done it is done yes sir Shabadi and if you believe it is done can you take your seat and thunder say it is done i wish you can thunder it louder and scream say it is done it is important people of god i am not here to talk about the prodigal son i'm here to talk about the father today i want to talk about the father himself uh, people of god it seemed to me that the lord already had it figured out even before the prodigal son became prodigal and people of God remember by the death on the cross where immortality became mortal in order to redeem man uh, people of God the Bible would even say without controversy great is the mystery of godliness and people of God in it all we find uh, the fullness of the Godhead uh, choosing the body of a human in order to be able to uh, push out the agenda of heaven uh, people of God um, thank you so much the Bible says and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness god was manifest in the flesh and justified in the spirit seen of angels preached unto the gentiles believed on in the world received up into glory and people of god this was exactly the entire life that um, pushed forth uh, what it means for god to say jesus to say it is finished and it is done and everything we need and will ever need is already in christ if you understand that can you turn that louder amen Amen. And so, people of God, again, allow me to use the next few minutes I have to, oh my goodness, every testimony shared here today would just let you know the character of the Father. It exemplified who our Father is. Every single thing speaks to us about the Father. So, even if I don't speak about the Father, people of God, you will just look at and hear this testimony and say, this is the way the Father is, people of God. But then again, let me share with you, whenever you remember one character that pastor shared today remember that it buttresses remember it underlines it is done this is the way the father is jesus in a bit to tell how our heavenly father is the behavior the character of our heavenly father tells us the story of this prodigal son as it were or permit me to call it the parable of the prodigal sons now it's important for you to realize that this father um, the son comes to him and says to him, Father, please give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. I know that we have been trained from Sunday school to look at this boy and say, Child, you went to waste it. You took it from your father and you went to waste it. People of God, if you're a son, there's a portion of goods that falleth to you. what you do with it is now your business but demanding the portion of goods that follow to you is what your father likes to glory in oh jesus i hope i didn't lose you there your father likes to glory in the fact that my sons are demanding what portion of goods follow to them you have an inheritance in the father there are things that the pasuke abasha lay there are portions that fall to you 
I and the children the Lord has given to me, we are for signs and portion that falleth to me. None shall be sick in Zion. Portion of goods that falleth to me. I, whom he predestined, people of God, them he called, whom he called, he justified, whom he justified, them he glorified. People of God, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who shall be against people of God? Portion of goods that fall, none shall lack her mate. Portion of good. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I have a portion. That neighbor does not understand that their portion. Please leave that one and tell that one. Say, I have a portion that fall to me. Tell your neighbor, say, demand for it. The problem is how you waste it. If you waste it, then that's where the father is angry with you. But there is nothing wrong. The father did not tell the prodigal son, why did you make that request? Did you hear what I just said? So I came to remind you, there's a portion that falleth to you. There's a portion that falleth to your father's house. That your mother or your father shrunk away from. Because they we are doing religious Christianity. There is a portion of goods that fall to you. People of God, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So there's a portion that fall to you. If you like, don't demand for it. If you like, don't ask for it. If you like, there is a portion of goods that fall to you. So sir, go through the scripture. Find where it is. Read it, study it, demand it, it will be your evidence. Am I communicating? Look at your neighbor and be a prophet for me to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, there's a portion of goods that fall to you. Say it again to your neighbor. Point to your neighbor, say there's a portion of goods that fall to you. Tell your neighbor, I know. Tell your neighbor, I know. Now declare, say right now, I take my portion by fire if that sounds like you let me hear your loud amen i wish your amen will thunder louder and whatever the devil has stolen from you from your family from your children i announce let it be restored right now let it be restored right now let it be restored let it be restored let it be restored let it be restored let your amen thunder louder glory to god People of God, watch the father, my yado say, and it's wrong. The father divided according to King James translation. I love King James. I love King James. The Bible says, and he divided unto them his what? He divided unto them his what? He divided unto them his what? Living. I thought he would have divided his goods. He divided unto them his living. The word living comes from the root word. And the root word is live. The word live comes from another root word. And the word is life. So he divided unto them his life. Let me now show you something. When the guy went to a far country. The Bible said he wasted his substance with riotous living. So, sir, the living his father gave him was contending with his living. So, sir, the only way to waste the living of heaven is to introduce your own living. I hope you, I didn't, I didn't lose you. His father gave him his living. He wasted the father's living with his own living. So if the father gives me his living, I will live according to the living of the father. If I introduce my own living, I will waste the living of the father. Mekoto Labarashia Rende Bianakosa 
I'm a dog. Sometimes they will want to ask you, why didn't you show up in that party? I am not leaving my living. I am leaving the father's living. So if I start my own living, I may waste the living the father has given. Did I confuse you? This prodigal son wasted his father's living by his own living. Why do you speak the way you speak? I am living the father's living. He says, I'm not, I don't have a living. He gave me his living. I am living the father's living. Forgive me my English. Just be understanding what I'm saying. I'm living the father's living. I'm living the father's life. If I introduce my life into it, then I will scatter it. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. So my, if I introduce my living into this mix, I will blow up the picture. I will blow what God has in mind for me. Am I talking to someone? Lift, lift up your right hand. Say, I live according to the word of the Lord. Say, I live according to the will of God. Say, I live according to the dictates of God. If you understand the thunder, it louder. Amen. Take your seat. Shout, it is done. So, sir, it is not done because I am strong. It is not done because I am better than others. But I am living the living of the Father. I got nothing of my own. I got nothing of my own. For in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And I am complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Everything I have is him. For my life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. People of God. So everything is him. I am in his living. Living his living. If I introduce my own living, I will waste his living. Did you get what I said? The day you start living with your own understanding, living in your own way, you'll be wasting deposits. Hmm. You'll be wasting healings. You'll be wasting deliverances. You'll be wasting directions. You'll be wasting instructions. Am I talking to someone? And people of God, it's important that you hear this. My goodness. So the guy, I'll say two more things and I'll be fine. The guy said, how many hired servants of my father, now watch this, have bread enough to eat and to spare? He said, the servants of my father, whom he hired, right? The only picture that comes to his mind, huh? okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let me take you forward and then I'll bring you back here. So he comes back home. Remember, the father divided his living. And his father says, you know, I've got rope for you. I've got a ring for you. And I've got um, a sandal for you. And then I'm going to do a party for you. I'm going to do so. This is all his living. So it's not just goods he gave to him. He gave to him his life. Am I communicating? Then back here, this guy says, how many hired servants of my father? He said, have bread enough and to spare. Hired servants, hired, suggests something very simple. My father pays them to work for him. And he says, because my father pays them to work for him, then they have bread enough and to spare. They are okay. They have food. They even give other people food. But as soon as the son came back, there was something much more than food that the father was going to give him. The father gave him rope. It is not food, but it can make food happen. The father gave him a ring. It is not food, but with that ring, my God, all any kind of authority 
The father gave him shoes that when he steps out, they will know that royalty has come out. Let me get back to the servants. If it is transactional, I walk, then you give me. So if I'm doing transactional Christianity with the father, I may end up with food. Is life all about food? People of God, there are things that money cannot buy. You're going to get into situations where you're going to miss situations that this one is no money. It's not a food matter. How many hired servants of my father have food enough and to spare? People of God, everything is not food. Everything is not bread. There are situations you will meet. I'm sure some people have understood it. You look back, you have all the money to purchase whatever needs to be purchased. But then again, you find out that this one, money cannot solve it. Am I communicating? So the father, the son said, for the higher servant of my father, once he's paying you, once you are doing transaction with him, your own, he will not deny you of food though. He will always get food. He will even have enough to spare. But what the father is looking for is not for those that come to do business with him. I'm born again because of what I want to get from you. That's not the father. It will end. Whether the food will come, the food will come. He will, he will give you food because he's a good God. But the father is looking for sons. Those who will come and say, you're my father. I love you, Lord. And I'm not loving you because of food. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. I'm not loving you. I love you because you're my father. I'm going back to my father. Am I communicating? Yes, Never forget that this guy, when he was coming to the father, he said, I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and earth and before thee. Uh -huh. Show me. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. I will go to my father. I will say to my father, I will do this and I will do this. Sir, before he will say anything to the father, the father already embraced him. Sir, the father was saying, before you bring I first, understand my mercy. Before you say I, before you get into the place of I this, I that, I do this, understand my mercy. And my mercy handles your mess before even you speak. So all the father was asking that boy to do, come closer. Don't let the way you are push you away from me. Just come. Just come. It is you that I want. I don't want you to be okay. I know how to make you okay. I don't want you to make yourself fine. Just come. Just come. I don't look good, Father. He says, come. Father, I, I don't think I deserve it. He says, come. He says, but Father, I failed you many times. He says, come. But Father, you know what? I don't know, but I just want to be a servant. And he says, come. Your mistakes does not invalidate your position. Did you hear what I just said? A son is a son. The mistakes of a son does not invalidate the son's position. Am I communicating? And we don't have a father that says I disown you. That's not the kind of father I have. A father can disown with mouth, but cannot disown with blood. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. And so, sir, this is exactly what the father did. And while he came, as I tidy up, 
The father said, I need to change your garment. Your robe needs to be changed. Because you're not wearing the robe you left here with. It's no longer the robe that you have. Am I communicating? And he says, I'm changing your robe. People of God, filthiness was removed. That, that robe of a commoner was stripped of him. People of God, because there was something. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Every identity of sin, every identity of reproach, every identity that is not of God, at the sound of your amen, let it be torn by fire. I say, let it be torn by fire. Let it be torn. Let it be torn. Let it be torn. Let it be torn. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat for one second. So, sir, understand the progression. He says, I'm fixing your identity. Then after the identity, he puts a ring in his hand. In other words, he didn't put the ring before the identity. He didn't give him a ring and then put a robe on him. He first of all put a robe on him. Know who you are. Once you know who you are, you will know the authority you have. My goodness, can I say this again? He said he put a robe on him, then put the ring on him, then put, give him the shoes. Move. If you don't know who you are, you will not know the authority you have. And when you know the authority you have, you will realize where you need to step into and possess. People of God, there's a generation that know who they are, know the authority they have, but they have not moved to possess it's not enough to know who you are it's not enough to know the authority you have you must understand he gave you a shoe and the shoe is move and possess wheresoever the sole of your feet shall tread upon you will have it for a possession don't mock your ring by remaining where you are don't insult your robe by tying yourself down to where you are. If you've got a rope, if you've got a ring, move. Rise on your feet wherever you are. Would you lift up your two hands wherever you are and agree with a loud voice, say, it is done. The Lord said to me, when you come for second service, declare this, as your two hands are lifted, the days where you operated in not enough. At the sound of your amen, I decree those days are over. Enter into your season of more than enough. 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 Let your amen thunder. Listen to me. The next 10 days, I'm not praying for everyone. At the sound of your amen, the men that you need are lining up. The men that you need are aligning. They are aligning. They are aligning. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Can I hear you turn the seven loud amen? Will you put together your offerings, your tithes and your partnership, and lift it up before the Lord. Your streams of joy. We stand to give to God because we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Please rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithe, and your partnership. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. For what our God cannot do.
take your offerings and make it a wave offering before the Lord. Raise it before Jesus. Make it a wave offering. We stand to give to God in our commission. So please, I encourage everyone, rise on your feet. It is part of the protocol of our house. Would you make it a wave offering? Your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership, make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of those who have honored God with their offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. I decree every devil is rebuked for your sake. The windows of heaven are open and blessings are poured out on you that there will not be room enough to contain. I decree it is done in the name of Jesus. Amen.